Hello, I am Gary Brantner of Rent Art Studios Comics, and this is the show where I talk about comic books I've read, and the Kickstarters I've backed, where you could find these comic books, and all sorts of different stuff like that. So, um, let me start with, this is probably the last time you're going to see this place card, because I've upgraded, made my own new one. So, ah, see ya. That one's gone. And from now on, I'm going to start with this one. Anyway, as I said, I am Gary Brantner of Rent Arb Studios Comics, and this is the show where I'm going to talk about comic books that I've read. And, uh, wow, I'm already repeating myself. Off to a great start. So, with on that note, uh, let me tell you uh, what's been going on lately. As you know, uh, I used to make these videos uh, week to week, and things have not been plan panning out that way, so uh, I'm sorry for that. If uh, I would, if you had intended for me to read your comic book in time for uh, Kickstarter or whatever, <sighs> things get in the way, life and stuff. Um, as you know, uh, I have five kids and they seem to take up a lot of my time. And uh, uh, let me see. So, yeah, uh, especially right now, uh, fall is the birthday season in my house. I have four of my kids have birthdays in the fall. Mine included, uh, so that's five birthdays in the fall. Six if you count my father-in-law's, but whatever. Um, so yeah, a lot of birthdays. Uh, yeah, my Jack just turned um, six this week, and my Kara is turning 15 next week. So it's crazy, crazy. And uh, yeah, all that fun stuff. So yeah, birthdays. And I, I sub also, so I had planned on making a video a Tuesday or so ago, and I ended up cleaning at a school. And as you know, I, I janitor at a big distribution center over the weekends, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, noon to midnight, and so that takes up a lot of my time. And it leaves me pretty wiped out on Tuesdays, anyway. So, and I obviously, uh, being home most of the days, I clean the house and stuff like that, so... Yeah, oh yeah, and the thing that's been taking a lot of my time is uh, I have been making a bathroom, so there's that, but uh, it's almost done. The shower is actually in working order, the toilet's in working order, sink, all that fun stuff. Now it's just little stuff that is going to be taking up my time, so cool, cool. So as soon as that's done, there's just a few little honeydew kind of things that I have to do around the house. and whatnot stuff. Anyway, so, enough jibber jabber about uh, all my excuses and whatnot, so let's get into the comics. That's what you're here for, you want to hear some comics? So I got some cool ones. This one I backed on Kickstarter, and oh my gosh, this guy was so uh, helpful. Uh, so I backed it, and I thought I was getting issues one and two through the campaign, and uh, when it showed up at my doorstop, I had two. And doorstep, doorstop. Uh, so anyway, when it showed up in my mailbox, that's more accurate because mail does not get delivered to my house. Anyway, why am I rambling and getting nervous? I guess I haven't done this enough. So I backed a comic called uh, Unicorn Vampire Hunter. These are so awesome. And uh, number two showed up and then I'm like, oh shoot, what happened? And he goes, oh, you... And so I looked at, and you didn't back it at that level, so I looked at my Kickstarter, and I'm like, sure enough, I only backed it for issue two. And uh, we worked out that I, I PayPal'd him some money, and got issue one. Now I finally read it, and uh, just in time too, because issue three is on Kickstarter right now. So, yeah, it was, it was well worth it. I'm backing issue three right now. Can't wait to get that one. This one came with some awesome prints. First of all, I am a huge sticker fan, so check out that awesome sticker. And it says, this unicorn kills vampires. Yeah. So that's going to look really cool on my comic book boxes. And it comes with trading cards, too. So I've got an, El an Edward. That's the name of the unicorn, is Edward. Jezebel. And that features the uh, unaging puppies. And Seamus, I think that's how you pronounce it, Seamus. 
and Enrique. Enrique is a vampire, Seamus is a wizard, and Jezebel is the niece of the wizard, and obviously the unicorn, the vampire hunter. Cool stuff. Got some awesome prints too that I can uh, drop on my throw up on the onto the wall. Cool stuff. Yeah, heck of a lot of them. Different pinups here. That's a lot of prints. Okay, so cheese. All right. So those are the vampire hunter, unicorn vampire hunters. So let me get into the credits here. Okay. Unicorn Vampire Hunter is written by Caleb Palmquist, illustrated by Daryl Toe, lettered and designed and edited by Dave Lentz, and we also have alternate covers by Daryl Toe and Jonathan Fisher, David Brame, and Jay Draco. But I think this is the main cover, and this cover is by Daryl Toe. So, good stuff all around. Um, yeah. Let's see here. Platinum supporter, Jonathan Romaine. Wow, that's interesting. So the thank you page only has one name on it, and that's weird. But, yeah, these are really cool. Um, I'm not sure how many pages this was. This seems a little more than 24, your standard comic book, but... These are some beautiful pages, and Unicorn Vampire Hunter is, it's an awesome book. Uh, I enjoyed it, loved it, and uh, had a great time reading it. Definitely enjoyed reading issue two. Check out that wraparound cover. So good. Yeah, so um, lots of good stuff there, and uh, so yeah, Vampire... Unicorn Vampire Hunter is is pretty cool. It takes place in a fairy tale land or a medieval time or uh, a distant world that's not. It doesn't seem like it's our Earth anyway, our universe. But it's a world where there's unicorns and witches and wizards and all sorts of stuff like that. Usually not really my kind of uh, reading preferences, but uh, when it's good, it's good. So, I liked it, and uh, obviously, I, what drew me in the, in the first place is vampires, because, you know, I make uh, Peter Pan the Vampire comic books, and so anytime there's a vampire comic book or story or novel, movie, I'm, I'm game for it, give it a try, and uh, yeah, I had a good time reading Unicorn Vampire Hunter, and I can't wait to read issue 3, which is on Kickstarter right now, so check it out, look up Unicorn Vampire Hunter, Pretty cool stuff. I love it. I'm so glad I backed it. And I can't wait for more. Can't wait to finish the story. Good stuff. Next up on my list, on, on what I have read recently, and I should have read this sooner because the Kickstarter ended, actually I think it ended yesterday. So shame on me for not getting this episode done sooner, but this is Impossible Jones. Uh, team up with Holly Days. It's really cool. It's got some spot finish, and it's got it's it's got a raised um, relief cover, so you can actually feel the texture of the letters and the figures and the shapes, all that stuff. Crazy uh, cool cover, and it actually makes it pop really good. I mean, wow, that is some awesome artwork. And uh, yeah. I, I don't understand the uh, issue numbering. I think it goes, this is issue A, uh, Impossible Jones A, and the next up is B, C, and D. B was, is going to be um, the team up with Lightning, so, and that's the Kickstarter I just backed and ended. So let's head on into the credits section of Impossible Jones Holidays here. So, Impossible Jones, where's the credits at? Well, shoot. Okay, here we go. I found it. Impossible Jones, Holly Days, is written by Carl Kessel. 
he did scripts and inks. David Hahn did pencils. Tony Avina did colors and Richard Stockings and Tyler Smith did the lettering. And there's a backup story, even Stephen, Odd Man Out, is written by Carl Kessel. Dan Skakade did the art, and Tony Avina did the colors. Richard Stockings and Tyler Smith did the lettering. So, really good stuff. Um, yeah, Holly Days is kind of like your Harley Quinn kind of character, themed after holidays. And... Uh, these guys, they went to, uh, they went out for drinks at a cosplay kind of bar, and um, a girl that was dressed up like Impossible Jones got murdered, and they have to solve the case, find out what happened. It's a pretty cool story. I really enjoyed it, and uh, really love the art style. And, um, yeah, it's good stuff. Uh, so, yeah. I'm so glad I keep I continue to back the story, follow them so that you could uh, be notified on when their ne next campaign is, and stuff like that. Ooh, I even got my name in on the uh, thank you page, so that's pretty cool. Gary Brantner of Rent Art Studios Comics, right there on the thank you page, so that's cool. And it came with stickers, little chibi versions of uh, Holiday. Holly Days and Impossible Jones and even Steven. And I got this huge, crazy, ginormous poster. I can't wait to put it up. So maybe the next time I... Uh, let's back up. Whoa, look how big that is. Next time I uh, review an Impossible Jones, I will have to place it behind me in the camera shot. And this one came with some really cool prints too. So yeah, that's what I read this week, and uh, and now let's see. I'm off to mailbox. Yeah, I got a lot of comic books coming in the mailbox lately. So here's the mailbox. I forgot the song. Mailbox, mailbox, do 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 boop ba da. Mailbox. Okay, what did I get in my mailbox this week? I got this land from uh, Mark Abnett. Cool stuff. I backed it on Kickstarter and got it. And I also got Dirty Work at the Crossroads 1, 2, and 3 with some prints. And I think I backed that one on either Kickstarter or Indiegogo. I'm not sure. And I backed Lars and the Awkward Yeti. And this came with bookmarks and stickers. And this big boy print. And I got this in the mail. This is Black Market Heroin from Russell Nolte. That one's cool. Oh yeah, and Impossible Jones, actually, the one I just read. I also got that one in the mail, along with Section Zero. So that's cool put that in the read pile and then I got these these are not from Kickstarter but I went to magnetic press and ordered uh, let's see infinity 8 and I ordered after the fall which came with a print of the exact same cover so that's pretty cool when I posted it on the Twitter uh, they thought that I bought two of them but no nope, one's a print and one is the book but yeah, that is so cool. I love the texture to it. It kind of feels canvassy. Oh yeah, and uh, these came with... So the, I got a pin with uh, Black Market Heroin. So that's pretty cool. I love pins. Crazy, crazy cool pin. And I got a, a keychain with Lars and the Awkward Yeti. That's pretty cool. That would have been a cool looking pin too. And I got this pin from Wish, but I thought I'd show you anyway. This is a pin of a sun and a moon. Yeah, love it. So that's what I got in the middle box. Now let's move on to the campaign corner. 
This is where I tell you about all the Kickstarters you should know about and back. You should go there and back them. So, let's start off with... Okay. Bad Natures, number one, an action fantasy character drama, a 24-page comic about a dysfunctional group of, group of gods endangering themselves and the world around them. Check that one out. It's on Kickstarter till October 27th. Bad Natures, number one, on Kickstarter. Myth Makers, number two. You can get both issues, one and two, on this one. This is a 28-page, fully completed book. Myth Makers, a supernatural superhero comic book. Second issue of a successful superhero comic book that tells the formation of the superhero team called the Myth Makers. Check that one out on Kickstarter until October 29th. Daughter of Wolves 1 is on Kickstarter right now. It's the reimagining of uh, Little Red Riding Hood as if it were told in a rice, a rice punk retro future kind of crazy uh, future world. Um, so yeah, one thing I really liked about this is uh, the drawings of Little Red Riding Hood. It shows her with a missing right arm, and she's got this huge, gigantic, uh, mechanical right arm. And this is an 80-page prestige comic. It is glued, not stapled. 64 pages are the story, and the rest is all bonus material. So check that out. There are preview pages on the Kickstarter. Really amazing looking stuff. Check out Daughter of Wolves 1 on Kickstarter till October 31st. It's Halloween, isn't it? Cult Heroes Stories is on Kickstarter right now. Uh, this is a comic book about killing your heroes. The Digital Rotten Edition Volume 1 and Young and Bitter Cult Heroes. Check it out on Kickstarter right now. You get four short stories of inglorious ro rotten uh, heroes and villains of Cult Heroes in the universe. And it is, it was exclusively for mobile devices, but as soon as they made it uh, available for physical uh, backing, I jumped on that because I'm a sucker for the physical backing. And uh, yeah, really cool stuff. Check out Cult Heroes Stories on Kickstarter right now till November 1st. By the time we get, to, by the time I get to Dallas, is on Kickstarter right now for issue three. You get uh, book three of By the Time I Get to Dallas and a prequel called The Trini Trinity Project, number three, also. Um, it's the story about uh, an archaeological dig that coincides with the uh, By the Time I Get to Dallas. So anyway, By the Time I Get to Dallas is a story about 80% of uh, the world's population suddenly zeroing in on one spot no matter where they are what they're doing they have to get there and so they kind of zombie out and migrate to the spot what what happens when they get there i don't know they stand around they don't eat they still die it's crazy so uh yeah maybe this is a weird way of the world to self populate control i don't know it's a crazy pandemic story and there is one uh failing med student trying to figure it out because his girlfriend just up and walked out. So crazy stuff. Check that one out. Touching Evil 3, the hardcover, is out right now. The Depths of Vengeance by... Oh wait, that was for the last one. Anyway, uh, so it's about a girl named Ada and she was a lawyer. She had to go in and uh, talk to this guy that was in prison and when he touched, he found out that his sister was dead. That was the news she went to pass on to him. And uh, she, he passed on his curse to her. Basically, whenever she touches someone now, if they are evil, they die right there on the spot. And uh, yeah, all oh, so crazy stuff going on. And this should definitely be a show. It was so good. And uh, I can't wait to read this uh, series finale, the third hardcover of Touching Evil, on Kickstarter right now till November 6th. Super Scouts, the Collected Edition, is on Kickstarter right now. 20 years past their prime, the actors of an iconic Super Scouts TV show have a real chance to 
claim real cosmic powers. Uh, so think of the Galaxy Quest, how they were in a TV show and then uh, some real aliens needed help. This is basically what this is doing, except you've got Galaxy Quest, the Power Rangers, Voltron, and Fantasy Island. Take all those together, blend them up, and you get Super Scouts, the collected edition. It is 105 pages of awesomeness. You could also get Axeman uh, in on this pledge. And uh, that's a comic I have backed and is in my read pile, but I haven't read it yet. But, yeah. So Super Scouts, collected edition. You could also get Axeman, the trade paperback. 105 pages of Super Scouts on Kickstarter right now till November 9th. Unicorn, Vampire Hunter, 1, 2, and 3 are on Kickstarter right now. 24 pages of awesomeness. There are stickers. And it is a all pages, all ages fantasy about a unicorn that hunts vampires with his horn, obviously. So that's crazy stuff. And uh, yeah, it was a really good read. Good stuff. And uh, read it to find out why he's cursed. Um, why is this unicorn killing vampires? Who knows? You gotta read the story to find out. I know, because I read the first two issues, but check out Unicorn Vampire Hunter 1, 2, and 3 on Kickstarter until November 13th. Duplicant 1 through 5 is on Kickstarter right now. A pandemic is destroying organs, and a scientist, doctor, has discovered a way to make clone organs to put into people when these this pandemic kills their organs. And uh, so they get brought back to life, but then the corporations who fund it, all that, they suddenly own you now. You have to work off your debt. So find out what's going on in this pandemic storyline. And yeah, it's crazy good stuff. Uh, I'm loving it. Can't wait to get it. I'm backing it already for three, or for five, issue five. And uh, I should be giving you a review of the latest issue pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. Duplicant 1 through 5 on Kickstarter right now till November 18th. And the complete Kickstarter playbook is on Kickstarter right now from the guy who brought you what they don't teach you in art school, which I reviewed last episode. Check that one out. So yeah, it's a timeline checklist and guide to running a successful Kickstarter campaign for artists. And uh, yeah, I'm so glad I didn't miss this one. I'm back in it already. Check it out. It's uh, also from a fellow Utah. I'm in Utah, if you didn't know. So check out the complete Kickstarter playbook on Kickstarter right now till November 22nd. Dig Two Graves, the graphic novel, is on Indiegogo right now. After a brutal murder of her family, Miranda Stone is left with the desire for revenge. And you know what they say about revenge. If you have revenge in your heart, dig two, two graves. It is 80 pages plus four pages of bonus material. This is a mature reader story. So check out Dig Two Graves on Indiegogo right now. Planer Jane, one through, oh, Planer Jane 4 and 5 is coming to Kickstarter soon. So get on there, click that to be notified when that comes out. It's a really cool looking uh, black and white with a little bit of red here and there comic book. And uh, I think Dexter, if Dexter was a teenage girl. And uh, yeah. Wasatch Wonders number two is coming out. That's another one from a guy just over the hill from me over in Logan. And uh, yeah, Wasatch Wonders number two is a 24-page comic book of the adventures of Utah's greatest heroes, superhero team. And that one's coming soon, so click on that to be notified. And that brings me to the end of my uh, Kickstarter and campaign news. Indiegogo, as one of them was. Uh, so if you have a comic book that is going to be running a campaign soon, send me a link on Twitter or Facebook and uh, Say, hey, check out my comic, and maybe I'll check it out, back it. We'll see where that goes from there, and uh, all you got to do is send it to me. I'm free. I'm cool with that. Send it to me, and I'll share it, and all that fun stuff. So 
hit me up on uh, the social medias and tell me about your Kickstarters. Yeah, well, let's see. What have I been watching lately? Um, the Titans on HBO is pretty good. Uh, I finished up Cobra Kai. Love that show. Can't wait till the next season comes out. I think it's coming out in New Year's. And uh, Doogie Hauser on Disney is pretty fun to watch with uh, the Hawaiian Doogie Hauser. It's got Jason Scott Lee in it. He was the the voice of uh... oh crap, what's his name? Anyway, he's from uh, Lilo and Stitch. I can't remember his character's name right now. I think it was Dave. Anyway, uh, yeah, he plays the dad on that. Good story. I uh, love watching that with my wife. Check that one out. And I just sent in an order for more Peter Pan the Vampire comics on Kablam. Because uh, I sold out at Comic-Con, which was really fun. It's a fun feeling to sell out, run out of comic books at a con. So that's cool. And uh, alright, that brings me to the end of that. Speaking of Peter Pan the Vampire comics that I make, uh, you can check those out on IndiePlanet.com right now. And uh, you can download 1, 2, and 3 for free to your phone if you want. Or it would really make me happy if you uh, purchased the physical copies and had them sent to your house. That'd be really cool. Or you can message me if you want signed copies. I'll work out a, a way to PayPal and get that ball rolling. So thanks for watching. Rent Art Studios Comics. Go ahead and find me on any socials as Rent Art Studios. If you see this alien there, that's me. And can't wait to hear from you. Bye.